Since graphene generated a lot of hype in the years gone by, we haven't seen any tangible progress that can be applied in a real-world application. However, a company called Skeleton Technologies is making a serious inroad in exploiting the potential of graphene to make supercapacitors. This progress is getting plenty of traction and many companies are piling orders to incorporate these next-gen ultracapacitors into their products. In this episode, we'll see how the advent of these highly efficient supercapacitors can revolutionize the industry and how the graphene promise is finally becoming reality. First, I have to say something about the origin of this wonder material called graphene, how it is made, and the hype around it. Graphene is made of a single layer sheet of carbon atoms that are bonded together in a repeating pattern of hexagons. This sheet is only one atom thick. When we stack these single layers of graphene together we get the graphite we are all familiar with in the form of pencils. There are about 3 million layers of graphene in a 1 millimeter thick sheet of graphite. In 2004, UK-based researchers Andre Geim and Konstantin Novoslov collected the Nobel Prize in Physics after they discovered graphene. Since then, the expectation on graphene rose drastically and many imagined this one atom thick wonder could revolutionize the way we do things in an unprecedented way. The hype is so over the roof that an elephant balanced on a pencil was circulating the internet illustrating the strength and elasticity of graphene. But looking past the headlines, it's evident that a lot of the most fascinating areas where graphene is thought to excel is in the early ages. But in recent times there has been a major push towards introducing graphene into the mainstream products that we can use in our routine activities. We found out that a German-based company called Skeleton Technologies is exploiting the potential of graphene to make the next-gen supercapacitors that are much more powerful in terms of the energy they can store and release. Before delving any deeper into these new and promising supercapacitors, we have to give you a snippet on what capacitors are and how they compare with other forms of energy storage. Traditional capacitors store energy electrostatically, meaning they don't employ chemical interaction as lithium-ion batteries do, rather, they use dielectric or insulator to separate positive and negative charges. Supercapacitors or ultracapacitors on the other hand are a mix of both lithium-ion batteries and traditional capacitors because they use electrolytes on either side of the insulator. Capacitors are highly desirable when we want a quick burst of energy, but are not suitable for storing large amounts of energy for later use. Graphene-coated supercapacitors take the capability of previous generations of supercapacitors to the next level by allowing a significantly larger surface area for storage. The ultralight nature of graphene and its strength is what makes these groundbreaking ultracapacitors super attractive. Because of these attributes, we find graphene-based supercapacitors in equipment that prioritize tight spaces and high-energy requirements. The covalently bonded, hexagonal-shaped graphene is the most conductive substance we've come across so far and we're beginning to see the fruits of this amazing material. Skeleton Technology has recently offered a new line of graphene-based supercapacitors to the market. The company claimed its new line of supercapacitors are capable of storing 72% more energy compared to their non-graphene-based version. According to the company, its graphene-enhanced capacitors are by far the best-performing capacitors in the world with the highest energy density. This claim is corroborated by the findings of the U.S. Navy. The study conducted by John Heinzel from the U.S. Naval Surface Warfare Center in Philadelphia, along with researchers at the University of Texas at Arlington, discovered that Skeleton's capacitors eclipsed other similar product made by Maxwell, Ioxys, and JM Energy. These new products from Skeleton Technologies use curved graphene, which is developed at the University of Tartu, Estonia. One application that we witnessed these ultracapacitors being employed is in light rail trains. These trains use kinetic energy recovery systems to recover brake energy and use it while accelerating. The graphene-coated capacitors enabled light trains to significantly improve their kinetic energy recovery systems by allowing them to store more energy than before. Wind pitch control and grid energy storage are also thought to be amongst the many applications that can benefit from graphene-based supercapacitors. Traditionally, wind pitch control systems relied on lead-acid batteries, but newer turbines start using supercapacitors because of their superior energy density. Skeleton claims these newer and highly efficient ultracapacitors can be charged within seconds and have 1 million charge cycles. As a result of these, big companies in the automotive and energy industry are showing interest and making orders for their products. It is also claimed that these new generations of supercapacitors can extend their reach into making spacecrafts and wave energy technologies.
When it comes to new products, making it cheap and scalable for mainstream use is the hardest thing to accomplish. It seems that Skeleton Technologies is overcoming this hurdle and planning to start mass production of their highly anticipated graphene-based batteries. Investors are also showing their interest in the company and are more than willing to spend their cash. Recently, the London-based financial technology company, WISE, is agreeing to invest $42.6 million, which will be used to scale up production of graphene-enhanced supercapacitors. This latest round of investment in Skeleton Technologies took the total amount of investment in the company to over $200 million euros. The influx of cash will greatly enhance the company's ability to scale up manufacturing and the continuous development of supercapacitors. When graphene was first discovered, it was considered to be the next big thing. However, reality hits and people started to cast doubts on the potential and feasibility of graphene. What many of us don't understand is producing new material in a lab environment and scaling it up to be used on an industrial scale are two different things. Despite the pessimism, the recent revelation shows that graphene has finally started to make an impact and time will tell if it will fulfill all of its potentials. So, what do you think? Do you think graphene will take the world by storm and make a meaningful impact in our day-to-day -day life? Let me know your opinions down on the comment section. If you like our content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Until we meet again, cheers!